In this video, I want to go over a couple of things. For starters, you're probably wondering why this board is green and why it's larger than the board underneath it. Well, the reason why it's green, and again, I can only guess here, is that the lumber yard didn't have regular three by stock. Instead, they just sent out some uh, treated lumber, which they probably had, or the contractor just ordered the wrong material, or they didn't care. But either way, there's nothing wrong with it being treated. However, most of the time it is going to be regular construction standard material and it won't be treated. So I would imagine that the structural engineer did not call out for this to be treated. And that's the main reason why I'm making the video is to point this out. I've had a couple of questions in some of my other videos where people were, were wondering why the wood was green and it wasn't wasn't brown or tan colored like the other lumber. So that's that. Now here's another picture where you can see the plates in the other room and you can see it's going around the room. Wherever the shear panel is, the outside plywood, you will see the three by plates and of course the this it's there for a reason to give you a little more strength with the wall framing and you can see here it does not have a three by by plate and it's back to the original two bys now I want to make a point here and you'd better make sure that you you cut your studs the two by framing members that are going to be vertical not horizontal top plates are running horizontal or right to left studs are running up and down you need to make sure that you make the proper adjustment for in the length of these studs or you're going to have a big problem so and again I've seen this happen before so if you're adding another inch to your plates they're going to be thicker you're going to need to subtract this amount from the wall studs to keep the top plate height the same all the way around the building. So realistically, um, you don't need to use the green wood. More than likely, if the structural engineer called it out, yes, you would have to, but more than likely that wasn't the case. Some type of an error here was made. And, um, and again, secondly, make sure that you compensate for any variations in thicknesses of any bottom or top framing plates.